and welcome to my channel. It's Rebecca, also known as 4Kids147. And I thought I'd show you, I've finished coffee time. Um, so thank you so much to Melissa for sending this me. Um, I've not been able to get a frame yet, just because um, COVID has gone up in my area. So at the minute, I'm staying in. Um, but I didn't want to delay showing you that it is done. Um, it looks awesome. Um, you can clearly make out the words, you can clearly make out the detail, and I think it is absolutely gorgeous. Um, so this is an ever moment. Um, I must admit their diamond quality, not as good as I remember. Not awful, don't get me wrong, not awful. They are one of the better ones, um, but not as good as it has been in the past. But anyway, um, another painting is finished, which means I need to de-kit. Um, this one is one that I can de-kit that has the DMC numbers um, and it's a square. So, tuck yourselves in um, and get yourselves comfy because this always takes a while. Um, so, I've got all my squares to de-kit. I've also got um, another painting, which I actually can't remember which one this was. Um, how bad's that? It's been sat on the side, but it's squares. So I'm going to do de-kittings sort of separate. Um, I think the only other outstanding I've got is I have got a round, but it's not DMC numbers, so that'll be easy. Um, and then I've got some special shapes to put away. So this is the epic one that is on its way. So let's make a start. So the first thing I like to do is I like to see any that are classed as a heaven and earth design number. Um, now these ones were in some sort of order but aren't anymore. So let me just group these into, so we've got 300s, 700s, 400s, that's a 700, 800, 900s and 3000s. Okay, so they're sort of groups into areas and these are all in number order. So 154 is not in my heaven and earth designs, but 310 is. And my 310 is full. So I do have a spare bag for my 310s. Where did I put them when I rearranged the room? <laughs> This is the question. This is what people like when I get a bit, uh, where did I Okay, so this is my 310 space. Very exciting, isn't it? Nice big baggy um, for all my spares. So I'm gonna throw all of those in there and I'm gonna put the bottles aside because I have since, for another project around the house, I have picked up, um, some goo gone. So I'm going to give it a test, but we'll give it a test at the end because then I don't make a mess. Let me just get one of my pots for the labels because I do reuse my baggies. So, okay, that's the three tens done. So now we get back to a little bit of normality. So 317, which I actually have in both, and this is looking pretty full. I don't think I'm going to be able to get both sets in. So let's put the smaller amount from this bag in, which as I say, I actually can't remember which painting this was. Unless it wasn't my painting, it was one of my daughters. That could be the reason. You guys probably remember. And that doesn't go in there, that goes in there. Um, and then this one will need to go in my heaven and earth design spares, so my overflow. So let me grab that. So I have a box with all my heaven and earth designs overflow. Let's see, now that my camera actually goes a little bit higher back, a little bit higher up, sorry, my desk space is bigger, or oh, the desk space that I have to keep clean because you lot can see is bigger. So let's Let's see if we can just do both at once. 
um, and I'm just going to keep putting these little extra pots to the side and we'll fight with them later because they don't need to go back in any particular order okay 321 I do have and again that one is already full I have some 300s here as well that I need to deal with so 321 and I have a bag because we already have an overflow so that's that one emptied and then in with this one we also have 318 which is not here so we'll put that there and 355 which is not in my heaven and earth design so we'll also put that one in there why not um, 356 is not 371 nope 402 nope 498 that one is I thought it was you get to recognize numbers so let's see oh no they're not going to tip in the top not without making a mess have I got a baggie for 498 already oh look I do quite a few of those so we'll get those in and then I've just realized I've missed a 415 so 415 is not in my heaven and earth designs and then we're all right until we get to the 600 so 498 can go back sorry 700s so 666 is not in this tub because this basket only goes up to 601. If anybody's interested in what my Heaven and Earth design is, I do have a complete playlist on it. We do have 666, but it's full. Um, I do have a complete playlist on my Heaven and Earth designs, it explains what I'm doing. Um, but basically, it is a cross stitch pattern that I am doing using my spare diamonds for a quick short cap so every time I put away spares that are square I make sure that I fill up any of these first and the rest go into my usual storage so 712 nope I've got some 700s in here as well so let me just put those in order okay so 728 is actually the next one and I have that here and this is a completely different shade but I don't care I also do explain the reason for that in my heaven and earth designs playlist um, I just mix them all together 729 I have in this ever moment one is this gonna fit no they're not gonna fit okay so I've got that full have I got a baggie? 729, I don't. So, this is where we crack open my stickers. So, these are little, this is what I keep in my little sheets of stickers for labelling off pots. And then to grab a pen. So, I'll label this up as 729 and then dash S because it's square and this is where reusing baggies comes in. Um, I'll label it up like this because then when it does go back into my normal spare storage um, and I've got my little piece of paper that's just to help the baggies stay upright and not slouch. Um, whenever I'm done with this colour in my heaven and earth designs it will go into my usual spares which you will see shortly and what have I just done I've put the wrong lid on that's what I've done I'm like that that's a heaven and earth design Did you know and breathe okay 738 again that is one that is already full and I've got even more so do I have a bag for 738 2829 3038 there we go so I do have one this must have been when I didn't have any pieces of paper cut so got a bit lazy and just didn't bother got a bit of static on these 
and let's get those thrown in. My label seems to be a bit smudged as well, but I can still read what it is and that's what matters. Okay, 745. Nope, don't need that one. 746, don't need that one. 779. Are we actually going to be able to fit this one in? Woo! So we're actually able to fit that one in, which is always good. So that's 779. And then 780. I've got from this other painting. I keep looking at the colours and I'm trying to remember which painting it was. I don't know. Okay, making a mess. Par for the course. You people are used to this by now, but this is part of the reason I have a nice big white desk so I can spot them and pick them all up. So 780, 782. This is a borderline one, but we should be all right. Because this is the painting that's got less spares left over. So it may have been smaller, or it more than likely was just a different manufacturer. So that's 782. Oh, I know what this was. I knew it'd come back to me eventually. This is the bookmark of the tiger. And that's why I'm thinking, why did I use these stickers? And it's because I never actually kitted up the bookmark. I just did it. Okay, so 783 is not in my heaven and earth designs, but it was in this ever moment. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to tip them both together for now. Because then when they go into my spares, it, I'm not tipping anything in anymore. Um, but it saves me missing it. So 783. Then we've got 814, which is in here. I've actually got a lot of spares of this one. Even though this tub was only half full. Oh. Okay, getting them all, that was borderline. And that's the wrong top. That is now the jam packed. Most jam packed it could be. I'll probably regret that. Okay, 823. That one is in here, but that is already too full. So 823, I already have spares. So we'll bob those in. Throw them in with the spares. And if these ever run out, this is the first place I go. See, like 823, I already have two bags on the go. Um, I have them a lot. 842, yep. And I might get these in. Ooh. Now they will fit in. I think this is more of a static that stopped them from going in. Because I haven't filled this as much as I filled my last one. It's purely the static of the drills, which I didn't particularly notice when I was working with them. So it must just be them being in these plastic containers that's caused it. that's those and then I have got some that are stuck in the bottom so let's see if I can get them out that way because I must admit I do try and make them squeeze in as much as I can okay so that's the top from my head and earth designs that's the old ever moment okay so then we need 898 Sorry, I had to change the battery on my camera. So we've got 898. That one again is already pretty full and I know I have spares. So I'm just going to go straight for the spares because I know they're there on this one. Tip those straight in. As I say, once these are done, these are all labelled up then straight to go into my normal spares which will probably cry under the weight of all these spares, but we'll see how we go. We've got more projects on the go. Okay, so 918, so we've done with this case, which goes up to 905. So let's pull out case number three for my Heaven and Earth designs. You will see there are some blanks, their colours that I'm already done with, 
so I have removed everything off those. Um, okay, 938 is here, and I'm actually going to be able to get them in there. Whoop, whoop. Oh, well, I say I am if I don't make a mess myself. This is where I should be using my funnel. And I'm not. So let me get these back in. I'm sure this is what makes my videos longer. I'm sure you people just like what people must just like watching me pick up diamonds. It makes them realize they're not alone. <laughs> it's probably the difference. Okay, so that's all the nine, that's all the 900 or up to 900 done for my tiger um, bookmark. So let's carry on with these. So we've got 918, go back a little bit. These potentially will fit. Again, I'm pushing it, but they do fit. So 918, 921. Get those in. This is where I try not to mix up the tops. When you are working with two sets of, of round pots, it can be a little harder. Uh, 939. Now I know that colour's in here, but that one is currently full. But I know I have more. I'm just trying to find the bag with a sort of the least amount of extras in because I've got quite a few bags of these because this painting uses this heaven and earth design uses loads of 939s but i'm currently at a section that doesn't use many okay 945 nope 951 nope okay then we get onto the 3000s so i'm going to keep these handy just for the last little bits so 3031, nope, 377, so that's too high for this, and it's too high for this. This only goes up to 3712. So this is my last Heaven and Earth design stub. See, there's about four. I mean, one of them never had any in, um, but it does take four cases. So I'm going to switch to checking out these first, just because I don't want to forget them. So 3799, in fact, I've got that in them both. And they need to go into a spares bag, which I'm pretty sure, do I not have? Spare 3799, how did I manage that? I don't, wow, okay, let's, so 3799-S, let's get myself, why am I doing, let's do it this way, make life easier for myself, let's use this bag rather than emptying a bag into a bag. So we'll use that one, we'll tip in the ever moments, add to it. And then we'll put a label. So 3799 is one in my Heaven and Earth designs, but for some reason I haven't got a peggy for it. Okay, 3830 is here. So we'll get those mixed in. Have I got that in my other one? Nope. This is just to stop me getting confused between the two of them, if I just get rid of, of one now. And then 3865 is here, but far too full. But I have loads of extra baggies of these. And I've got 3865 in this Ever Moment one as well. So let's tip those in. And then those. that's all bags dealt with so forever moment 3771 no 
So this is why I could never just use pots for storing spares. Got a lot of static on this one as well. Let me see, have I got a tray handy? I've got a big tray handy. Let's just get them all to come out and then I'll corral them into the pot. But they are jumping about a bit. Probably doesn't help that I'm going plastic on plastic on plastic. But I don't want to go get the dry sheets to sort it out. So okay, that's that one. Three, seven, six, six. Okay, three, seven, seven, eight. I lost where I was up to up here somewhere. Nope. Three, eight, two, two. Yes. This looks quite a different shade, but I have got a couple of different shades in here already. So when I bob them in, I'll just mix them up a little bit. It'll work. Three, eight, five, five, no. Three, eight, five, eight, yes. And I think this one's gonna be too full. Yeah. Let's not make a mess. Let's learn from our mistakes. Okay, so 3858, I don't already have a bag for. So 3858-S, bag, little square, and I do have videos on how I do all my spares with a load of measurements, etc., which I will pop a link in the description below because otherwise people that have seen that video see me repeat it countless times and they've heard it all before <laughs> so if you are interested in how I store my spares I will pop the link in the video and then we've got 3861 which again is looking too full so let's just pop this in with the spares in fact this is probably one of the ones that is so many different colors it's just one manufacturer to another, completely different. Okay, so that is all the spares away in my heaven and earth designs, which is not normal practice for most people. Most people that do save their spares are only putting them in one place. And this is the time now where I get to put them away in my normal storage. So, very similar to the Heaven and Earth designs, um, but they are numbered. So these are the 100s to the 600s. So it includes anything that starts with a one or starts with a six, up to a six. So 154, to start that off, we already have a very big bag of these. So let's throw them in. So that's my 154 in both round and square. There are still some in baggies, but I'm not merging them together today. Um, so 318, I actually have two bags of squares for these. I have that many, but it is a very popular gray tone. So we'll throw them in. And again, these bags will just get used, again, either for fresh bags for in my storage or for de-kitting and or using for another mini project I is what I tend to use them for. Um, three, five, five. So I've got both round and square. So there's my square. And I do have the odd green boat propping up these spares to give me space to move, but to be honest, they're gonna be shifting soon because I keep filling these bad boys up. These trays just keep getting full. Okay, three, five, six. Okay, three, five, six in square. 
I did used to keep my Ever Moment diamonds separate to all the others as well, but I found I'm not as fussed anymore. Plus their quality is not quite as good as it was. So I don't find that I really am bothered if theirs is separate. And to be honest, I think I've only ever had one painting run out of a colour, which happened to be right near when I was beginning diamond painting and it was a colour I didn't have. Since I've had all these colours, I've not run out, which is, is just the nature of it, isn't it? So 402. those in. See look, that's how I used to label them, EM for ever moment. Now they just all get put in together and they will get mixed in with that bag at some point. I'm just, let's say, I'm not doing that today. Um, I'm going to try and make sure that any bags I remake up, I do right. Um, and in the past, as I've de-kitted a number, I've made sure that that number is all, you know, neat and tidy in itself um, with the idea that my whole of my storage box will get that way over time. But there's just some days I've got too much to do and today's one of them. Okay, so the next number is a seven or starts with a seven. So, done with that box. The next box that I have is back to this colour. And this is my 700s to my 900s. And I can hear it all tipping up. Oh, that'll teach me to tip it up to camera. So let me just make that fit back in. That's 820, there we go. Say, so that'll teach me. I should stop lifting this up to camera. So 796, where's that? Oh. 797's ended up in there as well. And that's the card for 798. Okay, 796 is there, 797 is there, and that card for 798 needs to go in there. Okay, I'm not doing that in the future. <laughs> You'll just have to believe me. Okay, 712 uh, in square is my next number. Let's get those in. And I do like emptying the pots into the bags. I find they're just so much easier to empty that way than emptying a bag into a bag. Okay, next is 745. Now this is square. Now this one should have a piece of paper in it. But you know, I had the odd time where I didn't do a piece of paper. Um, but I soon realised that baggies with not a lot of diamonds in them tended to sort of shrivel down. Um, and then I did have a period of time where I couldn't find my trimmer, <laughs> so I was lazy. Okay, so I've just noticed I've got I've pulled out the 746 because that was next and I thought I had two bags of square. I didn't. I've obviously had a brain fart because that one is actually round. So what I'm going to do is something that I am thinking of doing, though haven't actioned yet, is somebody in my group very, very wisely um, in the Facebook group that's linked below had put the number for the rounds on a round sticker. And I was like, genius sometimes it is what in effect is a very simple difference means that when i look at them they are round and they are square and then i still have my little r or s on there which provided it's right would make sense so i'm going to pop a little card in there and this is what i would normally do when i'm tidying up um, because this system has been finessed a little bit over time 
um, and the way I used to store diamonds. So I used to keep all these baggies separate. I used to keep Ever Moments separate. Um, and then I've changed it to put them all together. But who wants to sit there and spend another however many hours after setting up the system, changing it? You know, sometimes you're in the mood, but you feel like you're repeating yourself. So what I've been doing is I've been tidying the number up as I've been putting that number away. Now you can also use this to set up your system. So only start to put the DMC numbers in that you need as you go along. So this one, I actually do have two numbers for squares and that's because I have so many. Um, so yeah, you can actually start to set your system up as you de-kit a painting and add yourself a new card. You know, you may want to cut a few so that you've got some handy, but you just label them up and put them together as and when you come across that number. And that can make the process a lot easier. So I think changing to round stickers is also something I'm gonna do. I do like things neat and organized. I am tempted to, you know, do a whole revamp to make everything look super pretty. Um, but I've not got there yet. <laughs> we'll see. I'm tempted to, to do little labels that will print on this front card. Just, I don't know, to make it stand out and, as I say, look really pretty. Um, but I haven't got there yet, so we'll see what happens. Okay, so that is all the 900s done, <clears throat> which means 700 to 900s are done and dusted. And then my last box, which goes back to this one, and I'm not tilting it up, is the 3000s. So this has a few more green boats. Um, it's not as full as the others. However, for 3756, I did have an Evan Moment painting. Um, with a lot of it. It was a New York scene um, and because of that and because of the spares that they give I have gazillions. So I've not yet found a heaven and earth design that uses that number. I need to. I need to find a cross stitch pattern that has a shed load of that number because I got loads of it. Okay, three double seven one. So we've got both a round and a square. And get hold of the square. And we're nearly there. We nearly have a desk full of pots that need stickers sorting out. But that's a whole different kettle of fish. Okay, three, double seven, eight. This is where I prefer the three digit numbers to the four digit numbers. The four digit ones get a bit more confusing. Okay, three, double seven, eight. That goes there, Ooh, that's flying about. And then last but not least, three, eight, Five five is here, and I also have one ready for this. Okay, so that is now all my spares from that painting put away. Um, hopefully, that has taken less time than kitting it up, but sometimes it takes just as long for both. So I'm going to pop my stickers away and then so my stickers can go away in my little passport holder. I don't need my little card inserts so they can go back into my little pile ready for next time. So the next thing I need to do is get all these stickers off here. Now you can sort of 
pull the main part of the sticker off but occasionally it does leave a little bit of residue and that's what I want to try Goo Gone on but what I'm thinking is if I get all the top part of the paper pulled off first off all of these and get them into my little rubbish pot then I can try the goo gone across them all um, say we got it for another project around the house and I've been thinking about getting it anyway but needing it for another project made it happen quicker <laughs> um, so I'm going to pause the video while I peel this top coat off all of these labels which is, these have all just been made from the inventory sheet that ever moment send and they've just been stuck on using my Xyron sticker maker and most of them come off okay there is just the odd one that doesn't it's the odd one that leaves just a little bit too much residue for my liking especially if the next one that I stick goes at a different angle in fact I think there's still some remnants there from another painting I've used in this in this tool bag so I'll get all these peeled off because this is boring um, I'll get myself a cloth or something that I can put the goo gone on to um, and I'm thinking it will be easier to try and wipe over them all while they're in this case um, so yeah I'll come back once I've done that I'll get my scissors away and all that sort of stuff um, so I'll speak to you well for you less than a few seconds okay so I'm back I've taken all the sort of top coat of stickers off these tubs um, and I'm going to give this goo gone, say we got it for another project, I'm going to give this a go on the bottles. I've not yet used it and the childproof cap is giving me jip, there we go. Um, so I've just got a white sort of lint free cloth. This is actually one that we tend to use on the car. So it's not the cleanest, <laughs> but it is clean, has been in the wash. Um, so actually... This is really easy. So I'm just wiping over the top of each. So one of them has given me a little bit more jip or aggro than the others. But this is actually coming off easier than the project we used it for. We sort of did a lot more work on that and I'm thinking, oh, it's gonna take far too much time for diamond painting. But diamond painting wise, this is coming off really quick. just basically rubbing round in a circular motion with a bit on my cloth and it is getting rid of all the residue oh me likes and it smells of oranges so that's always a plus it doesn't stink so I've not gassed myself out my craft room uh, this one is a label that's actually had the sticky on there a bit longer than the rest. That one seems to be a little bit more stubborn and it could be due to the time it's been or it could be because by the time I've got to that pot, and again that one is, I was going to say by the time I've got to that pot I've got less of the stuff on my cloth. But yeah, that's got them all off. Um, now part of the recommendation is to then um get hot soapy water and wipe off any residue because while it's uh, it's made in the usa doesn't have any warnings on it about it says do not swallow and do not breathe in fumes and stuff um and you are supposed to phone poison control if you drink it but it does smell of oranges um so I am going to go and wet my cloth and give these a wipe before they are used for any other project. But, Gugon's a winner. That has got the sticky label residue off a lot easier than using my fingers. So I hope that was helpful to you, um, even if it was just that little tidbit at the end. 
Thank you for joining me while I de-kitted another project. Um, I'm sure there will be more in the future, but thank you so much for watching and I'll speak to you all again soon.